Today we are going to see how easy it is to install a TP-Link Tapo smart module so we can turn any regular double switch into a smart switch that can be controlled through the TP-Link app. In addition to turning the lights on and off, it also lets us monitor our lightning's power consumption. And this module here also works for electric blinds but also we are going to focus only on the lighting using the Tapo S112. So inside the package we will find the Tapo S112 and all the necessary accessories. Installation is super simple, but if you have any questions like what is the live wire neutral ground which we are not going to use, then the best is to hire any professional electrician that will do this the easy way. And although it's very easy, we are messing with electricity, so don't risk your life because at the end of the day, it's it's just not worth it. This is not a tutorial, it's just me sharing my experiences with you. So let's have some fun. First of all, we will bring it out of the package. We will see that the Tapo S112 has the neutral and live inputs and the terminals S1, S2, O1 and O2. Now with the breaker completely shut off so that there are no issues, I'll start by connecting the live wire to the live input and the neutral wire to the neutral input. Then we will connect the face or the live wire to the double switch. Now the S1 connects to the switch number one and S2 connects to switch or button number two to be more precise. And then the O1 will power the live wire for lamp or lamp circuit one and O2 will power lamp or lamp circuit two. Finally, we just need to close the circuit with the neutral connection, which should already be in place. Now let's do this in practice so that we can start using. In my case, I'm doing here on this test board, but it's as easy as doing on any home switch. Now, by default, the S112 comes configured to control blinds. So before configuration, if we toggle the switch, the behavior might seem a bit odd. So let's open the Tapo app and choose to add a new device. It will automatically detect the module and asks whether we want blind mode or switch mode. In this case, we will choose switch mode. Then it runs a few checks and will ask to connect to our home network. At the end, it requests a few tests to make sure that everything is working fine. And we can name our switch so that it's easier for us. And we can also assign them to specific areas for better organization. Now, when I finished the setup, there was a firmware update that took about one minute. And now we can control the switches through the app to turn them on or to turn them off individually or both at the same time. But we can also use the physical switches normally as we did before. So anyone that doesn't want to use the application doesn't because it doesn't even need to know that the smart module is there just using normally as it did. But now we also have the option to use our mobile phone and access the device. And now we can also see that after the configuration, the physical switches act normally since they are now properly configured to switch and not to the electric blinds. Now, I did notice that if you toggle the physical buttons quickly, there's a small delay before it appears in the app and it's not instant, which means that sometimes the app button might not respond immediately. But this only happens during my tests, which are aggressive. As you could see, I will turn on and off repeatedly to see if the app changes instantaneously or not. And what happens is that if I press the button and then with the app open, which is something that doesn't happen in real life, we will not see immediately. So we will need to wait a few seconds. In a real life situation, what will happen is that we will press the on or off and then a few minutes or an hour or whatever, when we grab our phone to turn on and off, then there were plenty of time to have that acting. But this is something that I did notice on my tests and I always share with you guys. So there is a small delay. In the app, besides turning the lights on and off, we can also monitor the energy consumption of the connected devices. Here, each group of lamps uses about 13 watts and we can go up to a maximum of 150 watts of LEDs. Now, we can also track daily, monthly and yearly consumptions, set schedules for when the lights turn on and off and even use dynamic times like the sunrise or sunset. The app will automatically adjust the schedule as the days go by. And it also includes a timer function so the lights may turn on or off after a set period and the away mode that will automatically turn lights on and off at specific times to make it look like 
there's someone at home. This is very useful on holiday time where we will put the away modes and at certain times during the days that we choose it will start doing actions automatically turning on and then after a couple of hours turning off and then after a few minutes turning on which is cool so if we are in holiday someone that goes by the street will see the lights going on and off during those periods and they will think okay they are at Home. There's also an option which is called the leaving home mode. So when activated after configured, it will turn off all the selected devices just at once. And imagine that you have five or six of these. By some reason, we want to have one outside of this configuration. We can do so. If I want to press the leave home and turn all the four at the same time but leave this open we can choose to do so it's flexible i will decide what to include and what not to include now if we are going to use for electric blinds then it's totally fine you can just grab one and install yourself but if we are using as a smart switch then i would suggest before getting to check your switch if it has a neutral wire or not because we will require a neutral here if you don't have that neutral you will not be able to use this smart module here or you can do as I did a few times here for some smart devices just grab a neutral from somewhere and then bring it to the switch panel it's not difficult once again but I would suggest hiring a electrician that can do that change for you so you don't have any risks at all that being said hope that you enjoyed the video and hope that you enjoyed to meet the Tapo S112 if that was the case don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.